Titanfall 2 is one of the best games of 2016 that no one is playing. With an end of year gaming lineup that includes games like Battlefield 1, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Dishonored 2 plus a ton more, Titanfall falls well under the radar and it's a shame because honestly it's a great game. We start off with the campaign, which was sadly missing in action with the original Titanfall. Now I had high hopes for the single player as it was coming from Respawn Entertainment which is made up from a bunch of former Infinity War developers who in my opinion have given us some of the best Call of Duty games like Modern Warfare 1 and also Modern Warfare 2. You play as Jack Cooper, a rifleman turned pilot, and you're joined by Titan BT7274 or just BT as he becomes to be known. The whole story revolves around a battle between you and the Apex Predator mercenary group. Is it the most original story? Well, no, but is it still entertaining from start to finish? Yeah, it actually is. The interactions between Jack and BT are really natural. There are jokes back and forth and genuine respect for one another. Now as with all of my reviews, I don't want to spoil anything, so I will just say that the story isn't necessarily great, but if you love the high octane and fast paced action of Call of Duty, you're going to feel right at home. Along the way you will come up against mini bosses who also have their own titans. Now these encounters aren't the best, and some are a little bit too easy and over way too quick. Now graphically the game is really good looking and some of the single player game looks incredible. Now is this groundbreaking and the best visuals of the year? Well, no. It doesn't match the visual fidelity of Battlefield 1 or the unique styling of Dishonored 2, but it runs at a steady 60 frames per second with some great animations. Now rating the story mode alone, I'd have to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a step in the right direction and a great alternative to the somber tones of the newest Battlefield, but it could do with some improvement. The boss battles could be so much better with more strategy to them and more variety, and the back and forth between BT and Jack could also be improved. I never got so invested that I actually cared about the characters, which isn't necessarily great in the first full solo offering from Titanfall series. If you have seen my Battlefield 1 after the hype video, which will be linked below, you know I'm more of a multiplayer kind of gamer than anything, so let's talk about it. Now I want to start by saying that it is a shame that more people haven't picked up Titanfall 2 this year. The game was released on October 28th, which was one week before Infinite Warfare and one week after Battlefield 1. Now this was a mistake on EA and it definitely shows with the online multiplayer numbers and also some of the sales figures if you look at it online. However, when you actually get into an online game, you're greeted with some crazy boots on the ground action. Now I say boots on the ground, but that's not entirely true with the new grappling hook. This allows you to scale large structures and attack titans a bit like Spider-Man would. Now it also means that you need to watch the ground, the skies, and also the tops of buildings, and it really lends itself to some really awesome verticality when it comes to combat battles. In multiplayer, you have a wide array of game modes like attrition, pilot versus pilot, skirmish, last titan standing, plus a bunch more. The variety on offer with multiplayer is some of the best and easily beats the original Titanfall in terms of content. Some standout modes for me would be Bounty Hunt, whereby you need to kill enemies for points which you then need to bank. Forget to bank your points? Well, those kills don't really mean much. Pilot vs Pilot is basically free for all without Titans, which really shows the skill of individual players. Last Titan Standing is basically mech mode, where everyone starts in their own Titan and you battle it out to be the last one fighting. Think of it as free for all, just hyped up to a massive level, and you're in gigantic metal machines. Honestly, the multiplayer is great. If you like the Twitch shooter style from the Call of Duty games, then you're gonna like this. Titanfall was the original multiplayer game with wall running and also jetpack jumps, and I really believe they've perfected the formula here. Tie into that the ability to jump into your own Titan, and it's a great combination, but I really just wish more people would actually jump in. So what I want to do is just get the word out there for Titanfall 2, as I really want EA to continue with this franchise, as it is a great alternative to EA's other series, Battlefield. In fact, I like to switch between the two. I like the frantic gameplay of Titanfall 2, but then I also like playing large, open scale, hour long missions, and also multiplayer in Battlefield 1. So, overall, taking into account the great multiplayer, but a slightly mediocre story, I would have to give Titanfall an overall score of 8 out of 10. If they can improve the single player offering next time round, and build on the already great multiplayer, this could be the game to beat Call of Duty. And don't say, oh, but Battlefield has already done that, because they are completely different games when it comes to gameplay and also the style of play. So if you guys have Titanfall 2 or have played it, let me know what you think down below. And if you like this recap and review of Titanfall 2, let me know by hitting that like button. 
As always, my links to social networks and gaming are down in the description, and for more great content, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next video.